Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. Based on His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives, the High Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club congratulated His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa on his appointment as Honorary President of the Club. His Majesty the King issued Royal Decree 6 of the year 2021, appointing His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa as Chairman of the High Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 5 of the year 2021, replacing Article 20 of Edict 25 of the year 2012 with the regulations of financial conduct of ministries and government authorities stipulating the following. All ministries and government authorities are prohibited from accepting grants, donations or cash or in-kind gifts from inside or outside the kingdom and for any purpose whose value is less than 20,000 Bahraini dinar, except with the approval of the Minister or head of the concerned government authority. The approval of the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and the financial balance must be obtained whenever the value of the grant or donation reaches the amount mentioned in the previous paragraph and is subject to a maximum of 500,000 Bahraini dinars. After coordination with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Interior according to the source of the grant, donation or gift. The approval of the cabinet must also be obtained regarding donations and grants whose value exceed 500,000 Bahraini dinars. All this is taking into account the laws, regulations and decisions enforced as recording determining the authorities whose approval must be given to accept grants and donations. His Royal Highness, uh, the Deputy King, uh, Prince Salman uh, bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the President of the Court of Cassation and Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council, Abdullah bin Hassan Al Bu'ainin, at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted that justice is a central foundation for advanced nations which seek to espouse progress and prosperity, recognizing the critical role played by Bahrain judiciary in ensuring the kingdom's stability and development while underlining His Majesty the King's continued support to the kingdom's judicial process. His Royal Highness noted that the judiciary is vital to strengthening the rule of law and upholding fundamental rights and the principles of justice. On this note, His Royal Highness took time to praise the efficiency and effectiveness of Bahrain judiciary and the determination shown among all its affiliates to contribute to the kingdom's development. He went on to highlight the importance of continuing to strengthen the performance of the judiciary system and enabling good governance by investing in the kingdom's judiciary personnel. For his part, Al Bouainin expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness for his efforts to bolster the independence of the judiciary as well as the role of the fun and the function of the Supreme Judicial. Council. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, today chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely. The cabinet conveyed sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on his award of a Legion of Merit degree of Chief Commander by the former President of the United States of America in recognition of His Majesty's contributions to global security and stability and in appreciation of His Majesty's unwavering support for Bahraini American strategic cooperation. On the occasion of International Day of Education, the cabinet affirmed the government's full support to the development of the educational sector and firm belief that it remains an essential source of support towards the kingdom's comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The cabinet denounced the attempts of the terrorist Houthi militia to target civilian areas in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, affirming that Bahrain stands by Saudi Arabia in full support of all the measures it takes to preserve its security, stability and safety of its citizens. The cabinet condemned the double suicide bombing in the Iraqi capital Baghdad and expressed its sincere condolences to the president of Iraq, the Iraqi government and its citizens and to victims of the terrorist bombing, wishing the injured a full and speedy recovery. The cabinet then discussed a number of memorandums during the meeting and outlined the following outcomes. Firstly, the approval of the following memorandums. 
A memorandum from the Civil Service Council on restructuring the Ministry of Health by removing the positions of three assistant undersecretaries and two directorates and creating an assistant undersecretary position and merging two directorates. The restructuring is part of the implementation of the public hospitals and primary health centers autonomy project in order to develop health services. The memorandum also included a restructuring Bahrain Polytechnic by changing the position name of a deputy CEO, merging two directorates directorates and alerting one directorate subordination. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding specifying the company type which sports clubs may adopt, the rules which govern their work and mechanisms of control over them and the conditions to license share in them. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the naming of the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs as the responsible minister to answer for the Water Resource Council in front of the legislative branches two chambers. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance regarding the accession of a number of government agencies to the Bahrain Credit Reference Bureau and the recommendation of the committee after considering the views of the Council of Representatives to limit government agencies' accession to the, accession to the center to 10 entities instead of 18 at the current stage and to subject this to a trial phase. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs regarding the government's response to four proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. Secondly, the Cabinet reviewed the following topics. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the amendment of the press printing and publishing law. Based on the approval of the Cabinet in its meeting on December 28, 2020 of the memorandum submitted by the Minister of Interior regarding a resolution regulating the entrustment of minor traffic accidents inspection to insurance companies, the Minister of Interior, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, issued a resolution regulating the entrustment of the implementation of the provisions of the insurance contract and settled damage incidents to representatives of the competent insurance companies to be implemented by July 21st of the year 2020. In this regard, the Director General of Traffic, Brigadier Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Abdul Wahab Al Khalifa, affirmed the keenness of the Interior Minister on adopting projects and initiatives that contribute to maintaining the security and safety of all drivers and pedestrians and to provide the best services. According to the resolution, the specialized insurance companies are obligated to set up a mechanism approved by the General Traffic Directorate, and the parties of the accident should remove the vehicles from the road if they obstruct, disturb, disrupt the traffic or endangered drivers until they are transferred or routed to the concerned insurance company. If the vehicles cannot be removed from the road, the accident parties may photograph the accident for damage assessment by the insurance company. The Director General of Traffic asserted that the project will have a positive impact on the traffic flow. He added that the Minister of Interior directed for launching an awareness campaign for drivers to learn about the procedures required by the project, expressing confidence in their awareness and commitment to regulations and laws. The Director General of Traffic noted that the Directorate continues to cooperate with all relevant authorities to develop its services by facilitating procedures and in line with the directives aimed at strengthening cooperation with the private sector in providing services. Services. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to launch the second edition of the National Employment Program, the Labour Fund Tamkeen announced the opening of registrations for institutions to benefit from its support services as part of the second edition of the National Employment Program. The CEO of Tamkeen, Dr. Ibrahim Mohammed Janahi, stated that the program provides support opportunities for the lists of job seekers nominated by the Ministry of Labour and Social Development, where Tamkeen provide support opportunities for training and wages over a period of three years. Tim Keen had recently announced the allocation of a budget of 120 million Bahrain dinars for three years from 2021 until 2023 to support the employment of Bahrainis with an increase in the amount and duration of support provided to those registered on the Ministry of Labor and Social Developments list and entrance to the labor market. It is decided that the areas of support provided within the program will include 
wage support and training support, as well as a special program aimed at recent graduates based on supporting their employment opportunities across different types of work, whether full-time or part-time, and supporting their on-the-job training and preparation for employment in the private sector enterprises. Within this framework, Samkin will increase the amount and duration of support provided to those registered on the Ministry of Labor and Social Development's list and new entrants to the labor market, as well as creating new incentives and programs including support for modern work patterns such as remote and part-time work. The National Health Regulatory Authority, the NHRA, approved uh, the emergency use of Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine manufactured by the Serum Institute of India under the name Covishield. The vaccine will support national efforts towards vaccinating vulnerable members of the public at risk of developing complications from COVID-19, including the elderly and people with chronic diseases, as well as other vulnerable groups identified by the Ministry of Health. The decision comes following extensive research conducted by the Nahra in cooperation with the Clinical Research Committee at the Nahra and the Immunization Committee at the Ministry of Health, which considered the results of clinical trials held in several countries published by Oxford AstraZeneca, as well as information shared by the Serum Institute of India, covering manufacturing processes and batch analysis. The CEO of the Nahra, Dr. Maria Maljalahma, stated that the manufacturer has undertaken a rigorous randomized studies to uphold the high safety standards required by Bahrain data collected by Oxford AstraZeneca showing a 70.42% efficiency rate with minor side effects such as headaches, fatigue, chills and injection site pain. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,917 with 420 recoveries, 361 registered new cases and one death. 190 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 160 are contacts of active cases and 11 are travel related. The deceased was a 47-year-old citizen. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.